Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, February 26th. A very active weather pattern continues. A blizzard yesterday across the southern plains. One of the biggest snowstorms ever in parts of the Texas Panhandle, where winds were clocked up to 75 miles per hour. Uh, more than a foot of snow fell in many loca locations from the Texas and Oklahoma Panhandles across Kansas into Missouri. That snow is headed for Chicago and Detroit today. And then a uh, good part of New England tomorrow into Thursday will get significant snowfall again. Uh, perhaps up to another foot of snow can fall in places tomorrow and tomorrow night in, in places like southern Maine, for example, where they've been inundated with heavy snow over the last several weeks. Heavy rain, meanwhile, along the east coast, all the way from Florida up to the Carolinas, will ride up the coast today and will move into the I-95 corridor during the afternoon, especially tonight. From D.C. to Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York can experience heavy rainfall, strong east winds, perhaps one to two inches of rain by the time it winds down later on tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the latest surface map. Here's that wave of low pressure out in the middle part of the country that is continuing to cause some heavy snow across northern Missouri, now across Iowa. That snow will extend today uh, all the way to Chicago and Detroit. Several inches of snow can be expected there. And then by tomorrow, that snow moves into the northern half of New England, let's say central Massachusetts, up across Vermont, New Hampshire, and into Maine. Cold air is still anchored here in the northeast, the far northeast, thanks to this cold Canadian high pressure. Meanwhile, a squall line down here in western Florida, perhaps a tornado activity in Apalachicola, some very heavy rain down there. Rain has moved all the way up into the Carolinas. That will ride right up the coast during the next few hours, reaching D.C. by uh, early to mid-afternoon and Philly by late afternoon, early evening. A rainy, windy night is in store for much of the I-95 corridor. You don't have to go too far away from the big cities to get into ice and snow. Upstate Pennsylvania, across the higher elevations of central and northern PA, can get accumulating ice and snow out of this storm uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours. Here's the latest GOES composite colorized water vapor image loop and a very healthy storm system here swirling around here. This is again the water vapor imagery. Here's the, uh, the upper level low over Arkansas, Missouri. On the northwest side of this is heavy snow right now continuing across places like Kansas City, across northern uh, Missouri, now into Iowa and again Chicago and Detroit will get in on the action of accumulating snow later on today. Meanwhile down on the southeastern flank of this storm very warm and humid air. A squall line went through the uh, uh, Florida Panhandle. Again, there was uh, preliminary reports of tornado damage in the Apalachicola area. Heavy rain all the way up into the Carolinas right now. We'll ride right up to the I-95 corridor over the next several hours. Here's the latest radar loop from weatherforyou.com. This shows the precipitation type by color. Again, down in the southeastern part of the country, a squall line, heavy Showers and thunderstorms moving into Florida right now. Some snow mixing in here in the higher elevations of western North Carolina, southwestern Virginia. And here's the very heavy snow across Kansas and northern Missouri, Iowa. Again, Chicago and Detroit will get in on the action later on today. All of this uh, heavy rainfall all the way up to the Carolinas now will ride up the east coast. It looks like um, a, a rain event for the I-95 car from D.C. to Philly and New York City later on today and especially tonight. Strong east winds will keep us uh, too warm for snow here along the I-95 corridor. But once you get up into Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and especially Maine, it looks like another snowstorm uh, for the most part Wednesday into Thursday. And they, of course, have had several snowstorms up in northern New England over the last several weeks. Well, let's step through last night's Zero Z GFS model run in six hour increments starting early this evening and we'll go all the way to early tomorrow afternoon. This is the forecast map from the GFS model for early this evening. The rainfall now moving closer and closer to the New York City region should have begun already by this time across DC and into Philadelphia. Notice this blue line here, the rain snow line cutting across northern Pennsylvania. Again, the higher elevation places in northeastern Pennsylvania, like the Poconos, for example, into uh, uh, central Pennsylvania, not too far from State College, and then all the way across northwestern Pennsylvania, they can all get in on some accumulating snow and ice uh, from this storm system. But it looks like all rain from D.C. up across Baltimore, Philadelphia, into New York City. Cold air here 
uh, is anchored in the northeast, and that will lead to a snowstorm for a good part of northern New England during the day tomorrow into tomorrow night and uh, early on Thursday. Uh, snow, accumulating snow now moving into Chicago and Detroit. They'll get several inches of snow later on today into the early part of tonight. Here's a six-hour later forecast map for about 1 o'clock in the morning overnight tonight. That uh, low can kind of weakens here and uh, a low along the coast starts to take over here. Heavy rain moving in. Now notice this fetch of air here off the ocean here. This will lead to 20 to 30 mile per hour easterly winds in the I-95 corridor. Again, keeping us too warm for snow, uh, adding some Atlantic moisture into the whole scene here. And again, uh, could be some heavy rain falling here at times from later on this afternoon right through tonight along the I-95 corridor with one to two inches possible by later on tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, the, the rain is starting to wind down here. It will remain a damp day along the, uh, the I-95 corridor, but mild temperatures could very well go up into the 50s in many mid-Atlantic locations tomorrow. Meanwhile, the heavy precipitation is just now moving into Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and again, they're, they're setting up for another snowstorm in that part of uh, New England later on tomorrow into tomorrow night and early Thursday. Finally, here's the forecast map for tomorrow afternoon, early tomorrow afternoon, about 1 o'clock. Heavy snow falling in southern Maine, across Vermont, New Hampshire, probably all the way down to northern Massachusetts. They'll get accumulating snow, central Massachusetts. Here in the I-95 corridor from New York down to uh, uh, D.C., the, the rain will be winding down, but it'll stay damp. There certainly can be a couple more showers during the day tomorrow. Uh, even into tomorrow night. It stays rather unstable. Notice kind of an upper level low sitting overhead here, and it stays en uh, unstable enough for the chance for some showers Wednesday night and Thursday uh, up and down the I-95 corridor. It could be cold enough for some of that to be snow showers mixed in with the rain showers Wednesday night and Thursday. In fact, it looks like a rather unsettled period with lots of clouds for the next several days after this major rain event. That's it for now. Stay tuned to the SIWeather.com for updates. I'm the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian.